Hey guys, I'm Sam Chandler, the assistant sports editor here at Starnes Publishing with Kyle Parmler, our sports editor, and we're here to recap the sixth week of the high school football season. Kyle, you were out at Briarwood and you saw another good one. Yeah, I went out to Briarwood on Friday. We only had three games to cover, so a relatively light evening. Uh, but yeah, Briarwood, Mortimer, Jordan, a rematch from last year's 5A quarterfinals uh, where Briarwood won 15-0. This time, Briarwood wins 25-17. A uh, pretty close game for most, most of the first three quarters. Briarwood took a 25-10 lead late in the third, and he thought, well, this is it, they're gonna pull away now. But on Briarwood's next possession, and they ran a fake field goal that kind of blew up in their face. Gave Mortimer Jordan a short field, and Mortimer Jordan goes in and scores. So it's a 25-17 game for much of the fourth, uh, and Mortimer Jordan's got the ball driving towards the end of the game. Kay Dickinson's interception inside the 10-yard line with a 20 to go seals the deal for the Lions, so hey, Number one team in 5A is now 5-0. Oh. It looks like quarterback Michael Ayers had another big game as well. Yeah, look, Michael Ayers has really settled into his role. First year starting quarterback for the Lions. Uh, he was 14 of 18, 215 yards, three total touchdowns. He can, do a, he can do both. He can throw the ball back in the pocket or he can extend plays with his feet, which is what really stood out to me. He's very comfortable extending the plays and can make a lot of things happen. And, and he makes good decisions on the fly as well. So that was, that was the key for Briarwood in this game as well. And as you said, first year, uh, which makes it that much more impressive. Yeah, definitely. Um, I took in Vestavia Hills at Helena, uh, a non-region game for Vestavia. It was homecoming for Helena. Uh, Rebels take care of business. Third straight win. They improved to three and two on the season. Uh, defense once again was the key for the Rebels. Two turnovers, a pick six by Luke Denny for the second straight week. Um, the offense struggled a little bit, um, but the defense made up for that. Uh, it sets them up real well as they head back into region play this week, hosting Thompson. Yeah, three in a row for the Rebels. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good for them after their, their rough start. Yep. Uh, the other game we had, Chelsea went up to Gardendale. Gardendale comes out with a 41-28 win. Uh, Chelsea falls to 0-6, but the thing about it is, uh, Coach Chris Elmore said, you know, they're preparing every week. Mm -hmm. They keep battling. They're getting a little bit better. Uh, so the record is, is just, it's not what they want it to be, but he's impressed with how his team continues to battle. Uh, that game, you know, early second quarter, Kendrick Simpson, Chelsea running back, scores his second touchdown. Uh, and it's a close game, but Gardendale pulled away with a big second quarter. They take a 17-point lead into the break. They pull away and win. Uh, Kendrick Simpson and Collier Blair, they're, they're good running back tandem, combined for over 150 yards on the ground. So there's a positive there, uh, but Chelsea falls to Gardendale. Yeah, and that, that's a senior in Simpson and a mm -hmm. freshman in Blair. Yeah. So future bodes well for him. Mm -hmm. uh, that wraps it up for us here for our high school football mm -hmm. recap. A uh, big thanks to Skin Wellness Center for sponsoring our coverage all season long. You can check them out online for more information. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, uh.